Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your partner in business and personal growth, FCPA John Mudani. Join me as I discuss this topic. Is the dream of Africa becoming a superpower valid? Uh, I have seven reasons why I think that Africa will become a superpower in the next 20 or so years. The first reason why I think Africa has the potential to become a superpower is because of its people. Africa has got currently around 1.33 billion persons. Out of this, we know 50% of them is a young population, very, very young population. But what makes a difference is that uh, this young population in Africa, of course, with a big population, it, there, is, there is demand, there is consumption of, uh, of goods and, and services that will increase, um, uh, whether it's textile, whether it's the food, whether it is medicines. With a bigger population, if that population is empowered and has education, has knowledge, um, and of course, with a little bit of, uh, of income, uh, that will become a big inspiring and, uh, uh, and, and able to increase uh, the economic uh, growth of a country. Of course, if they are poor, uh, then of course they will bother country and become a source of a drain in the economy. But we believe what's happening is that the population of Africa is increasing in education. They, they are getting more educated. Currently, 50% are the young people. And as time moves on, these people are getting more educated locally. Some of the African countries are now bringing free education. We've got the increase in number of universities. For many years, African students went to Europe, went to India um, to get education. But now we've got, in, we've got in some very good universities coming Africa, uh, coming in Africa and the institutes of technology. And all these are presenting opportunities which will build our population base and uh, skill um, base. Number two is skills and knowledge. A lot of young people are getting educated, particularly now with the digital technology. A lot of exposure is coming up and getting educated and becoming professionals in area of medicine, in engineering, in technology, in finance, in, uh, in uh, agriculture, and uh, various aspects in oil and gas. And this skill base is increasing. It's still not where it should be. It is still low, but it is rising. So with the growth in skill and increase in skill of, of the population, that will be able to, we can export the skill, but you can also use that skill to build our own. And we've seen this. You find that in technology, like in Kenya, the M-Pesa is a Kenyan grown. And this is really a financial system that's been able to bring mobility in, in, in finances, moving money, moving from one area. In Kenyan, we find even in this thing of Corona, we've seen Kenyans trying to come up with, uh, with ventilators. And there's that innovation that's coming up. And this is because of the, the, the kind of people that we're having. And we see this growing and getting better even as we move on, even to manufacturing, hard manufacturing, like even manufacturing vehicles and industrial equipment. So that's very important. The third thing that's going to make uh, Kenya and Africa uh, become a superpower is, uh, is the whole thing of, uh, of resources. Africa has a lot of resources. Today, as we speak, oil... Uh, five top oil producing countries out of the top 30 uh, oil generation uh, producing companies in the world are from Africa. With Nigeria able to produce almost 2.5 million barrels of, of sweet oil uh, on a daily basis. And um, if you combine all the African continent, uh, around 130,000, uh, 130 billion barrels of oil can be produced. That's a lot of resources that can attract a lot of inflows of capital into this part of the world and, 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 and revenue. Um, and many, many of the countries, Angola and Central Africa and many other countries that are producing oil. Talk about gold. Africa is one of the biggest, uh, largest gold producers in the world. We've got South Africa, we've got Ghana, and we've got other countries uh, that are also very rich in gold. Talk about Djibouti, even Tanzania, 
down here mali and all these countries have got gold uh, and these are all natural resources talk about diamond 30 percent of the world diamond is produced in africa uh, is and, and, and countries are spread angola uh, we've got Botswana, we've got uh, Demo, uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, Central African Republic, and many other countries. Uh, we talk about bauxite and, and many others that can go on and go on. This is going to be one, some of the areas that we're going to attract uh, uh, revenues as we export these things. The, the, the third reason why Africa, uh, or the fourth reason why Africa is likely uh, to become a superpower in future is uh, the, 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 the industrialization, the emergence of industrialization. A lot of industries are now coming. And part of the reason that you have cheap labor in Africa and, and, and as the skill level of this, uh, the skill level increases and with this light population, you'll see a lot of um, items being produced in Africa. And, and and we've seen emergence of uh, of agri-based industries. We've seen some basic manufacturing that's coming in in Africa. And also, don't forget um, uh, the horticulture that's that that's, that's coming in Africa. Uh, as I move on, even beyond industrialization, the the the, the natural resources become tourist and tourism is, is increasing. Horticulture and floriculture is becoming a big thing in Africa. And all these combine to, to, to give uh, a very, 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 very uh, good, go, go, good future. Uh, particularly the backbone of, of, of labor. If producing something in America is very expensive, producing something in UK is very expensive, why not produce in Africa? And, 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 and all this is going to come up and will help us to grow uh, our, our countries and move to another level uh, as time goes by. The fifth uh, reason why uh, we are likely to be is uh, we are going to be big beneficiaries of technology, uh, particularly ICT technology and, digi and digitalization. Uh, as I said earlier, a lot of inventions, a lot of creative thinking among our young people. To be honest, I believe, having traveled most part, most countries of the world, that even we are ahead in some of the things. The way uh, the infrastructure that we have, the technological infrastructure that we have, the way we are using digitalization, uh, the, the, the way mobile technology has penetrated uh, uh, the population and, and, and homes. Uh, we have Wi-Fi. In other countries, you don't have this. Some, it's much much lower and the innovativeness that's being used uh, they, 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 if you go to the digital marketing and uh, and, and, and and platforms you'll find a lot of uh, e-commerce uh, that uh, that's coming from this part of the world and because of technology and digitalization you find that the world is becoming a global village and with the removal of boundaries uh, of, of, of boundaries uh, and borders, then you find that uh, export of services and even goods uh, becomes much, much easier. And this is going to open up the world to Africa. Uh, Africa will have access to all the economies of the world uh, we, we, through, through, through digital, through digitalization and technology. And I think and I believe that uh, time is coming when you have to watch Africa because Africa is coming is coming and coming very very fast uh, the sixth reason why i believe there's a great opportunity is the issue of um, africa is becoming a trade hub if you take like for example the the the, the, the east african trade hub uh, we become a center of tech, of, of 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 communication we've become a center of transport if you are to travel to part of the world you need to go through nairobi south africa cairo and this brings a lot of uh, customers uh, travelers and a lot of movement of goods and services because as people move uh, they move with goods and services and and, and that's happening a lot uh, you cannot ignore it and we're also becoming a financial hub um, a lot of business is being traded because of the level of technology, because of the, the way that there's um, the opening up uh, of the economies and free economies and uh, the fact that you can repatriate foreign currency, there's free flow of cash flows of, 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 of capital in and out of uh, most of the African countries is opening up and you have to watch up with Nairobi in the east, with Cairo in the north and with, with Johannesburg in south and Lagos in the west uh, and Accra, all the, that network and, 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 and the northern uh, countries. I see a lot of 
that happening because of improved infrastructure, because of improved movements uh, that's going to create a lot of uh, opportunities for this part of the world. And finally, the final reason is uh, what has been devil Africa before has been political turmoils, uh, political conflicts, fightings, and these are slowly r getting out of our way. Therefore, we are able now to the best of us to come out. And that coupled uh, with, with increased level of democratization and where the populace are participating and involved in election uh, and of, of leaders and, and governors directly or indirectly through the members of parliament, and then with the strengthened uh, institutions of governance institutions, you have ethics and corruption commissions, you have got uh, all sorts of institutions that bring checks and balances in the economy and, 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 and hold back the hands of the thieves. Uh, that were there, that were taking money and transporting them to 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 to, to banks in Switzerland and to and and to tax-free countries uh, 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 of of the coast of Europe and and to rest of the world. That is now becoming tighter, and and because of this strengthening of systems of governance and and oversight and and money laundering controls and that, you find that a lot of resources are now being held into the country, and you can see very well that. It, as you travel across Africa, some of the countries have changed the last five years, five to ten years. Completely the shape and the look of these nations have changed completely. There is now road infrastructure. The hospitals are being built. Schools are being built. You can see highways and byways. And you can see a lot of things that have changed. And, and the telecommunication systems are getting better. The social media is helping a lot to, to, to expose uh, rot, uh, rottenness and, uh, and, and stealing and thuggery uh, from the social media. So this become an open system. And these are all systems of governance, direct and indirect, that are bringing controls in society. And with this, I believe it's time for Africa. And I believe Africa has an opportunity. Uh, in my lifetime, I'll see this continent change significantly and you'll start seeing, start seeing people moving from the developed world into this part because this is where the opportunities are if you look at the gdp growth, growth rate of africa it's much higher than some of those modern economies uh, this is the only place you can get six seven percent growth uh, albeit when there's no covid uh, while the others you, you get very very minimal and as this grows it's going to change up we still have a major problem of poverty Poverty is still a big issue, but I think this is something that we are going to overcome slowly as governments invest in social uh, systems, social protection systems, uh, because of the surplus that we are getting. Because we've seen, like in Kenya now, some of the older people are able to get something to eat. And these are all social protection systems that are going to help. And therefore, the level of the poor will become less and less. As we educate people and they get educated, you find that the young people will be able to have money to send to their mothers and their fathers in their area and and most of them become urbanized and as this happen you will see a big change in the economic uh, condition of the world therefore the poverty level in the future will change uh, and particularly if agriculture is improved and if processing and value added in agriculture has increased we'll see a big change this is just my thinking is the dream valid will africa be a superpower and I think it is valid. This has been your partner in business and personal growth, FCPA John Mudani, discussing this subject of the future of Africa. God bless you. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, FCPA John Mudani or John Mudani. Listen to me in, in YouTube. Welcome to LinkedIn. Welcome to Facebook. I'm also Instagram. Just sharing my thoughts with you today. Thank you.